be the most loyal of companions. But that bond is now regularly being broken by dog thieves, often stealing pets to order. These two working cocker spaniels named Lupin and Rocket went missing near a golf course in Ascot. Since then, their owner has been desperate for their return. She believes it's likely her pets were stolen. They had their collars on with their my mobile number woven into them. They are chipped also, so and that's all now been registered as lost, stolen. And I'm absolutely sure anyone finding them would have got in contact with me, unless they wanted to keep them and sell them on or keep them for themselves. She reported the incident to the police. Just another statistic to add to the alarming and rising number of dogs recorded as stolen to forces across the region, with animals taken from gardens, houses, parks, kennels, and even whilst out on a walk. It's prompted a campaign led by the Stolen and Missing Pets Alliance, made up of dog welfare groups from around the UK. Having your pet stolen is absolutely heartbreaking. Until it happens to you, you just don't know how it feels. It happened to me. They didn't just steal my pet, they stole my life. For 15 years I've been doing this because I am so angry at them. And there's people there, I'm talking to them every day, new cases come in. I feel exactly what they're going through. The Alliance recently gathered more than 100,000 signatures, prompting a parliamentary debate on the issue. The government says the theft of a pet is already a criminal offence, with a maximum penalty of seven years imprisonment. But campaigners say the law isn't being implemented strongly enough. At the moment, they treat it the same as a mobile phone, so you're lucky if you get a community service. So word spreading around these thieves, hey, do this and you're going to get away with it. You can make a fortune doing it. And this is the wrong message. And unless we start giving custodial sentences, that's the only way this is going to stop. The RSPCA is now giving advice to pet owners, saying... Ensuring pets are wearing collars with up-to-date ID tags and having dogs and cats microchipped can help in the battle against pet nappers. If you suspect your animal may have been stolen, please contact the police. Meanwhile, Janie spends each day hoping for good news. For now, all she can do is wait. They're just uh, wonderful dogs and wonderful house dogs, wonderful pets, wonderful family dogs with my grandchildren who aren't here all the time, they come and they go and they're just gorgeous dogs, so I'm very upset. Kerry Johnston, ITV News.